I'm through, now what do I do? When you're done with an art project, this is what you do. Check with Miss Highland. I will say good job or go back and try again or maybe there's something you need to finish on your art project. If you're done, you can take your paper, put your name on the paper, and you will need to turn it into the buckets on the side of the wall with your teacher's name. If you don't have your name on your paper, your paper will get lost. So make sure your name is always on the back of your paper. A little chant I use to help me remember is put your name on your paper, put your name on your paper, put your name on your paper, and turn it into the bin. Now you can go to the front or the back of the room to play. Here are your choices. First, make sure you've checked with me and put your name on your paper, turned it into the bin with your teacher's name. You can do whiteboard, rubber bands, manipulatives like um, stacking sticks, whiteboard expo marker, reading art books, Legos on the carpet, or helping the teacher clean the room, and free draw drawing books. Rubber band boards and wipe away boards. Two I'm Finished centers you will find at the front of the room are erasable boards and pegboard rubber bands. Those are at the front of the room in a bin. The rubber bands are in a small container. Make sure you always have the lid on that container. The first one is erasable board. You can take it out, draw a picture, erase it by here's what it looks it like when students and then returning use it to the, the board. The bell has rung. They go to the front, put it away in the proper empty bucket, and make sure that it's cleaned off. The next one is rubber band pegboards. There's, these are nail boards and you can take rubber bands to make a design. Take the lid off and you can make a design by stretching the rubber bands across the nails in the board. You can create designs like trees, squares, anything really, shapes, geometrical designs. Now once you're done, make sure all the rubber bands go back into these containers. The lid should be on nice and tight. Check the floor to make sure no rubber bands have uh, snuck their way out of the container and then place it right back on the shelf where you got it from. Here's what it looks like for a student to use rubber bands. You can make anything you want, and then when the bell rings, put it back in the cup, make sure the lid is on tightly so the rubber bands don't fall out, and put it right back in with the other pegboards and the rubber bands. Block Buddies. Another center you can find at the front of the room is Block Buddies. Block Buddies is when you take a card out of a box and it gives you a pattern to follow. You try to build that picture with using the blocks and you match the blocks in the box to the picture. When you are done, place the cards away gently, put the lid on, and put it right back on the shelf where you got it from. sticks. The next center you can participate in at the front of the room are stick connectors. These connects can go to the carpet at the front of the room. You can take the lid off and play with them. Now there are small little pieces that you can connect to the straws. Do not step on them or throw them or use them as a weapon. That will cause a lot of trouble. So do not use them inappropriately, which means they're not weapons, you can't step on them or knock them down. And then place them on the shelf when you are done. This is the incorrect way to clean up this center. Whiteboard and Expo Markers. You will find the whiteboard markers and the whiteboards on the shelf. When you use them, make sure you put the lid on and wipe them off with a rag or an eraser and put them back where you got them from. This is the incorrect way to clean up. You don't uh, jab the markers on the board, don't throw them in the basket without a lid on, and don't leave it on the table expecting someone else to clean it up. Free draw. 
You can find drawing books here. You can also find reading books if you'd like to read. And free draw supplies are here at the front of the room. At the front of the room, you will find free draw paper. Free draw paper is when you can draw whatever you want during free time. Now at the back of the room, there's helpful resources you can use for free drawing. If you want to learn how to draw something, go to the How to Draw Book Station. On this shelf, there's tons of books that have ideas on what to draw. Animals, horses, people, sports, cartoons. Once you're done with the book, make sure it gets put back on the shelf neatly. If you're looking for something to color with, feel free to grab a bucket from the front of the room. Drawing books. There's additional paper in the back of the room by my desk with the free draw station books. On the lower part of the shelf are reading books. On the upper part of the shelf are how to draw books. There's fantasy, people, animals, ocean. Every book is labeled with what you can draw. Now here are some things I don't want to see happen to the how to draw books. Number one, don't draw in the book. We share these books with all of the students and these are not coloring books. Please get a piece of paper to draw on and not in the book. Here's some mistakes that students have made. They've drawn on the book and someone got paint on the book. Please avoid drawing with this book at a table that's messy. Reading books. I love to read books. If you want to read a book about art, go to the back art bookshelf and you can select a book off the shelf to read at a clean spot around the room. When you're done with the book, make sure you put it back on the shelf neat and tidy for the next person to read. Picture tiles. Picture tiles are kind of like a puzzle where you match the colored tile to the picture. When you're done, you can take off the tiles and start a new picture or put it back on the shelf. Tiles go in this small container and the pictures go back in the box. The whole thing goes on the shelf against the wall. Lego building. The Lego station is at the back of the room. There's a small bucket of Legos and bigger buckets of Legos. Some buckets are have the larger Lego sets with the red um, containers, and then the other bucket is for small Lego Legos. Please keep small Legos at the table. The larger Legos can stay on the carpet. You can also play with them at the table, but don't mix them up together. Pencil sharpener. Sharpening pencils is another job you can help Miss Highland with. There's two buckets at the corner of the room at the front. One says dull and one says sharp. If the pencil is in the dull bucket, you can take it to the pencil sharpener and put it in firmly. Once it's finished, put it in the sharp can 
and other students can use it because it's ready to be drawn with. Puzzles. At the front of the room, there is a pink container that has three sections of puzzles. There are two large puzzles that you can play with at the carpet. One is a safari puzzle and one is a dinosaur puzzle. Please don't mix them up together. You can build those on the floor or put them together on the floor. In the top container, there is a small puzzle area. It has about four bags of small puzzles. In order to put those together, you can take those to a table and work on them at a table. Make sure that you put them back in the pink bucket when you are done. The large puzzles go on the bottom and the small puzzles go in the top. Classroom cleaner. Another job you can help Miss Highland with is sweeping. Go get the dustpan or broom from the side by the sink and you can sweep up any trash you find in the, on the floor. Put it in the wastebasket when you're done and place the broom back by the sink when you're complete. Enjoy centers and have fun.